I can never go on over again. Every day by day, I just say they don't know. Everything I do, we just they penetrate. I just want to say state has the highest number of governorship candidates for the 2019 polls. Imo parades as 70 governorship candidates, all jostling for the number one seat in the state. In Imo state, the major political parties are People's Democratic Party PDP, All Progressive Congress APC, All Progressive Grand Alliance ABGA, Accord and Action Alliance AA. The APC is the ruling party in the state and has Senator Hope Uzodimma as its candidate. Uzadima is a two-time member of the Senate from all Luzon. It is expected that the APC will take advantage of its federal presence to clinch a win in Emu State. That the presidency is behind uh, what uh, Oshimola is doing to some of the states, uh, which has affected our party seriously, negatively. And uh, from my understanding from Mr. President, there's no such instruction for uh, Oshimori to do anything illegal or create any sign of injustice. The internal crisis currently plaguing the state with Governor Rucha Sukuracha and Adams Oshimori going head to head is likely to affect the chances of the APC. Close on the heels of the APC is the PDP. The PDP boasts of Emeka Ihedioha, former Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives, as its governorship candidate. Ihedioha has been with the PDP since 1999. With a combination of his popularity in Imo State and the PDP's strength, Ihedioha stands a good chance of clinching a win. Another strong candidate is Ifani Ararume of Abga. Ararume is a two-time member of the Senate under the PDP. Ararume has unsuccessfully contested the Imo State governorship under the PDP multiple times. Abga also faces an internal crisis of its own with many disgruntled aspirants, dissatisfied with the manner in which the governorship candidate emerged. It is also likely that Ararume would have a strong challenge from his kinsman, former Governor Ikedio Hakim, who defected from Abga to Accord Party after a fiercely contested primary election. Ohakim is expected to split the votes with Ararume from Mbano, which is their major support base. Ruche Nwosu, former chief of staff and son-in-law to Rocha Sokorocha, lost the APC primary elections to Senator Hopo Zodimma and was forced to defect to the Action Alliance in order to pursue his political ambition. The AA is likely to pull off a surprisingly good performance in the Imo gubernatorial elections. However, it is unlikely that the AA has the political manpower and structure to defeat bigger parties like the APC and the PDP in the state. Roots TV, Nigeria.